Hi, beautiful Pisces. Welcome to a new era. My name is Emma. Uh, Pisces, this is your mid-month reading. So it's basically uh, mid around mid-April until around mid-May. So we're going to start with three initial cards here to see what's going on. And then just go deeper and deeper into the cards, into the energy. Is that already? Wow. First card out is number two, coming together. Planting a seed there, perhaps. And then we have love abounds, number one. Really gorgeous. And then the third card out, Pisces, is blossom. Wow. Two point of version of yourself. Something is blossoming here. So let's go deeper into these messages. Why is it coming together here for Pisces, please? Never ending story. Hmm, let's see what that is about. Love abounds. Why is that here? Love abounds for Pisces. Why is that here? To the sea, which is basically just to follow the follow the stream, follow the where it feels easy. And then we're going to clarify the blossom card. The observer. 49. So just give me a second to see if we have like a bigger picture. It's interesting because if I if I were to just have like come together with love abounds with blossom like these three energies here are just really really profound really beautiful really like in depth energies and but then when we clarify them like what's going on underneath we have like a never ending story here in, in the coming together and I see a crack like. I think that's something like something is about to uh, Pisces like so whatever this is for you when when something is just about so whether it's a romantic partnership whether it's a it's a job opportunity whether it's something you've been waiting on to hear like getting the news about something um, whatever this is for you since it's a general reading can just literally be anything it's like something is about something is about to take shape. Something is about to happen. Something is about to fall into place. And as it is, it, it falls through. Like it doesn't, it doesn't come to fruition. It doesn't happen the way that you hoped it would happen. And therefore you get a little bit disappointed. I mean, she looks complete like she looks like she's ready to give up, but <laughs> a never ending story. I don't feel like it's that heavy. I just feel like there's something, you so want something to come to fruition. You want something to take place. You want something to come together, heal, mend, um, start, pick up speed. Um, Can we just go a little bit deeper into this message? What is this about here for Pisces, please? Triumph. Okay. So there's there's something here with the... So triumph is also very, very much the um, uh, chariot. So it's like so it's success. It's moving forward. It's picking up pace. I think there's an old mentality going on with you, Pisces. I'm trying to not sound so harsh to say this, but you just need to drop it like it's hot. Um, it's like, this is what's going on. This is the underlying. And if we just continue to look at the cards and, and look at the energy that's coming out afterwards, this is what really is going on. But your mindset about something is this. So even though like the universe or the reality around you is really trying to show you something new and it might even be that it's like it's it's a new situation something new here and it's triumphant it's it's successful 
it's something that you want to take place because you're in a little bit of a stagnant mindset it doesn't really come to fruition in the way that you hope or it actually does come to fruition but you don't see it or you don't get to experience it it's almost like um I'm not that I have a reference to it, but it's like, okay, so even though you would consider maybe if, if you were really low in money, like just for instance, let's say that just this money thing, you just never really figured it out. So it's not like a steady stream of just money just keeps money just keeps coming in. Um, it's rather like you just need to figure out where the next paycheck, pay, paycheck is going to come from to fix rent and your bills and and if you even if you fix that, like there's not enough money left to, you know, go on a trip or to just do something a little extra for yourself or whatever is a little bit short, let's say on money. Um, and then you could still be the most lucky person. You just feel so lucky. You feel so happy. You feel uh, really content. But you just don't have any money and then the and then the opposite is true as well like i know people that um for sure have lots of money lots of money uh, and specifically a person um that like it doesn't matter how much he how much he invests in like he has properties he has like he has so many things and he really has a lot of money and I know that he almost like every time that I hear from him or see him or anything he's just, he's just worried he's just worried that it's not going to be enough and I was like how rich does one people get to one people one person get to be and still feel worried about money so it's not it's not the thing right it's not, you can be in a relationship and you can be miserable and you can be without a relationship and you can be super, super happy. It's not about the very thing itself. Does that make sense? We're on our way to success here. We're on our way to just figuring it out. And we need to see a little bit of a mind shift here for Pisces. Is there somewhere, if you're just being really, because it's not fun to hear these things, but these things as we sort of, mend them or we sort of just figured them out there could be the answer to whatever you've been seeking and don't you want that answer and so if this is like if you're just being really honest with yourself is there an area in your life where you just feel like it's just never ending even though even though things actually are looking up even though things are actually it seems like now it's actually working out you still have that nagging little feeling in the back of your mind saying, mm, we'll see how long this lasts or um, yeah, that will work for now, but later, I don't know. And then, you know, it becomes a self, self-fulfilling self prophecy. You have that type of power that you can just sort of, you can think into the future and how it's going to be. And it's so, it's, it's, it's even unnecessary because it's not, this is not true anymore. This is true. So there's something about shifting your perception because, because you've done something right for enough time. So the, the things around you or people around you or the situation that you're looking at here has really started to clean up. Like if it's a, if it's a money situation, like more money literally has started to come in, has, has started to like enter your life. If it's a, if it's a relationship situation like that relationships i think you know what i mean it's like okay so the and it usually is the other way around so this is like a this is the only time when it's a good thing to look outside of yourself and see you know actually when i think about it when i look at the situation um it's working quite fine and if you just sort of continue to observe that you're going to shift that energy with inside of yourself rather than just keep going on what's in here because usually it would be the other way around usually it's that like please stop looking outside of yourself because it's like there's the evidence that you should be worried and so it's like please don't look there go inwards and feel the happiness anyway but this excuse me 
this time it's like the outside world has actually already shifted for the better but you're a little bit stuck in old behavior old mindset be honest with yourself about this one instead of just mm, oh, no i'm good no i'm doing <laughs> you know see if there's something there and then we have love abounds like there's so much love around you and this is my third eye heart. So it's like, this is when you're starting to see with your heart, you're starting to understand, truly, truly understand on the, like in a depth kind of way and uh, feeling a lot of empathy, feeling like you belong, feeling, this is when you're starting to feel um, secure within your own skin and you're starting to understand truly who you are as a being on this planet earth and you're starting to have an a perspective that comes more and more from love than anywhere else together with to the sea which is very much like go with the flow follow where it feels easy follow where follow where it feels uh feminine <laughs> if that makes any sense like wherever there's a stream and wherever there feels like a flow just go there if it feels like a little bit like uh we have a little bit of a stuckness here. You don't have to push that stuckness. You can just sort of go around it or choose another path that just feels easier. There's something here asking Pisces right now because there's so much love around you. There's so much love around you. It's like just look out into your direct reality and just think of something and immediately you can think of um, a person, uh, a passion of yours, an animal, a uh, children if you have those around you easy 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 to go to love um you have you have something around you that when you go there you understand how much love you have around you you have a sea of love you're like you're drowning in love so there's it's almost like i want to persuade you like i want to talk you into understanding that you know understand how much love you have around you i think you're just on a really 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 good path I don't know Pisces if it's been like such a struggle for such a long time that it's just taking some sort of you getting used to it if it's money that has come in and you always had to count your money in the past you always had to count if it's enough and so when someone asks you to go on a trip or someone asks you to go out to eat or someone asks you for like a simple thing like going to the movies or whatever your first initial thought, it's so pre-trained that you, mm, I have to check my calendar, I have to look into that, I have to see if I have enough money. And that is not the situation anymore. It's like, no, you, you just literally have money to say yes to basically anything. And it takes some getting used to it. Or if it's like you're in a relationship right now and maybe your relationships in the past has been like a struggle, they've been, they've just been... <sighs> you know, it's, it's just one conflict after the other. Or if it's like, if it's calm for a little bit, that, that storm is soon going to come in and mess everything up. And now, like you're in this gorgeous relationship and it's almost like you're waiting for the other shoe to drop and it, it takes a little getting used to it because it's like, this relationship is really good. And even if it's even, um, if it's even with the same person, it's going to be even tougher to really realize that, you know what, this relationship really is different. Because if you even have, like, it's easier, it shouldn't be easier because it's the same vibration. So it's really silly when we think that we're leaving one relationship, we're leaving one relationship, and then we take this exact same vibration with us, and then we enter another relationship, and it's like, huh, uh, I wonder why it's still tricky here when it, I was trying to get away from that. Well, you sort of take the vibration with you. Uh, anywhere you go so but if it's still like if it's with the same person you have been in a, in a relationship and that relationship has been tough in the past but it really has transformed it really has transcended into something really beautiful it's it takes some getting used to it being easy it's almost like you're expecting it to be a fight or a conflict or this is this is going to blow up to something and then it doesn't and you're like what's going on here? <laughs> this is a little bit weird. And a little <laughs> thing about Ross, Ross in France when it says that he's a little uncomfortable. He's a little uncomfortable. Um, 
<laughs> if you haven't seen the bloopers on that one. It's really, really funny. Um, it's making him a little uncomfortable. Whatever this is that was a fight in the past or it was a tricky situation in the past and you, you sort of had to deal with it, there's something that has shifted here where you're, you're not there anymore. You're just not there anymore. Things have changed for you. And so just continue to practice and go where it feels easy and just train, 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 practice, practice, practice that I'm allowed to have it this good. I'm allowed to be this pampered. I'm allowed to, I'm worthy of this much money coming in. It should be this easy. When I was in the tricky part, um, that was unnatural. This is the natural part. I love this for you. I love how it's almost like I need to sort of persuade you that it's okay to feel okay getting $10 million or being with a person that really treats you really, really well and that is just into you or like, do you get that I have now found, found this job or this, um, I found this job, this situation where I'm finally living my passion. And it's like, am I, is this really happening? I thought this was like a, this was going to be a goner. Like this was not going to happen. And now here you are getting to live it. Not only is that true, you're going to blossom. You're going to, so we have the observer there underneath the blossom card. And so I get, just feel like you're going to, it's not going to take too long, Pisces. You might have like a couple of days or a couple of weeks. And if you're not even in this anymore, in anymore, even if you're not um, in this yet, you might even wonder what I'm talking about because you literally don't have these things around you or you just feel like, but, it, but, I am, but I am researching my heart and I do actually not have these easy things around you, uh, around me and, and no, it's not here. Then just know that this is coming in because it's a clear energy here today, very clear energy of like having what it is that you want. And maybe even, sh so if you, if you are one of those Pisces that haven't seen this shift, so just look inside and start to see the shift inside of you instead of looking for it like, how do you know that something's here? Well, I'm looking outside of myself and I say it's not here, okay? So if you are not looking outside of yourself but rather going inside saying it is here because I choose to feel so, the, the mirror effect will be that it will be out there, right? You will soon blossom into this. You, it won't take... So if you struggle a little bit for the first five minutes or five weeks or five months or whatever with um, this feels a little bit too good to be true, you're going to soon blossom into this place where you're like, hey, I actually really like to have a lot of money and I have just now recently found that I can spend it and I can spend it, I can spend a lot every day <laughs> and I can go out to eat every day. And like, it just feels like with the, this changed perspective and with this changed um uh, vibration and, and energy like struggle was recently struggle was the familiar comfort zone struggle was the familiar comfort zone that's why people look for fights when there is none that's when people who have money is making sure that they're going to get rid of them uh, because they're not com they're not comfortable it's not their comfort zone and so now when you move that observation you move the you move the needle in, in where you feel comfortable and where you soon will start to have your new familiar. Something that's familiar is something that you keep repeating. This is familiar to me. First time is a little bit unfamiliar. Second time, still a little bit unfamiliar. A couple of times down the road, like this is starting to be familiar to me. So it's just repetition. And a change of perspective, you're observing it from a different perspective and soon, like you're going to have no trouble to just be in this new relationship, new money situation, new health. Are you telling me this thing, this chronic thing that I've been carrying around in my life, my whole life, I've been in pain or I've been on med medication or, you know, are you telling me that I'm just not 
going to be in pain anymore and I don't have to eat, eat all that medication like is it can't be gone oh buddy yes it is and soon you're going to start to feel comfortable with the ease of things and not comfortable where it's where, where it, so at first glance it's, it's so silly but at first glance at as at, at easy and flowing you feel uncomfortable this is too easy this is too comfortable this is too nice where's my struggle i want to i need to find my struggle and then you go look for it but when you start to be comfortable in the ease and flow of things you're going to move that comfort zone needle and getting more and more comfortable in where it's easy I'm going to move this into the extension and see what else I can find there for you. Uh, really interesting reading here today. Um, so if you're interested in that, the, there's two links to that in the description box down below. Just check it out. See whatever fits you better. Um, and I hope to, to see some of you guys there. If not, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate you being here watching these videos. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps me and it really helps the channel. If you keep coming here, it doesn't cost you a thing. Uh, you, you're not binding yourself to anything and even a little thumbs up to make me understand that you actually like the videos that I'm posting really helps a lot as well. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.